Get ready to travel to places you've never been before. Meet the most amazing characters and have all of your dreams come true because the big, fat, fabulous bear has a wealth of surprises in store for you. We are off to Panama. Everything is much better there and much bigger, too. Join the man who learns to fly to a castle in the sky, the cricket and the mole who make music in a hole, and the tiger and bear who think that paradise must be awfully nice. It's so beautiful, isn't it, Bear? More beautiful than anything I've ever seen in my whole entire life. From the pen of world-famous storyteller Janosch, whose works have been translated into 31 languages, the adventures of the big, fat, fabulous bear have enchanted children across the globe with their positive messages of caring, courage, friendship, and fun. Isn't that great? <laughs> Discover the unforgettable magic of the big, fat, fabulous bear on video cassette. Winner of the Parents' Choice Award and the Film Advisory Board Award of Excellence from Just for Kids Home Video, the name to remember in quality children's entertainment. Once there was an innocent and not very imposing young man whose job it was to keep watch over the geese. His name was Matt. <laughs> Matt the Goose Boy. Now Matt's story is one that starts with a monstrous injustice, one committed by the ruler of the land, the evil Lord Blackheart. He tried to steal your excellency's goose, sir. That's a lie. The goose is mine, sir. Take the bird away from him and tell the boy to remove himself from my sight. I swear by this hand three times in all that you will pay for this. <laughs> Lord Blackheart and his men had a hearty laugh that day. But as the years passed, Matt grew older and stronger and ever more determined to keep his promise. And one day, the king received a very unusual visitor. Through a series of schemes and intrigues, Lord Blackheart soon found himself alone with the stranger and in a most compromising position. Then it turned out that this stranger wasn't a stranger at all. I'm not a master. I'm not even Italian. Remember me, Matt the Goose Boy? The humiliation of his lordship was total, and thereafter the ruler lived in fear of Matt the Goose Boy, who had promised to return again. To protect himself, Lord Blackheart ordered that the highest walls be built to keep Matt out. Every conceivable precaution was taken. A huge army stood at the ready. And everywhere his soldiers searched for the impudent young rebel, Matt the Goose Boy. All to protect one man. For Lord Blackheart, the fear of the Goose Boy was becoming something more than an obsession. He forced his guards to suspect every stranger that visited the castle. They had to doubt every witch that dropped by to cast a spell. Even the circus bear was questioned. And of course, every goose in the land was distrusted. No one was above suspicion that they might be Matt the Goose Boy. So join Matt in a rollicking tale about how one person can stand up to cruelty and injustice. Everyone will enjoy the antics of this clever crusader as he leads Lord Blackheart and his men on a wild goose chase of hilarious action. It's a terrific story that teaches a wonderful moral lesson that kids everywhere will appreciate. The fantastic story of Matt the Goose Boy. Every world has many things. Their reasons are unknown. Things we call impossible are forever being done. But who's to say it can't be done when most may never try? For only those who try but fail can ever answer why. To learn that the impossible can happen every day, we must search within ourselves until we find a way. So, if you find the place where the Ripple River flows, right near the valley of moss where the tall grass grows, <laughs> it 
place here you'll find a village that is known as Ganterville. Where if you really want it, anything is possible. historian of Ganterville. Somewhere halfway between Upper and Lower Ganterville lies a place familiar to every gallivant ever born, and it's known as Titor's Garden. There, wise old Titor, as he's done countless times before, addresses yet another group of students. Future citizens of Ganterville, these are momentous times for all of you gits. Soon it will be kabumping day, when each of you will get your kabump. But first, you must go through granting, a process that will determine your future role in the Gallivant Society. Can any of you gits name the various grants? E.G.? Let's see. They're the Radiants who supply us with the energy from the sun. Excellent. Kubo? The Hydra Ants. They protect us from the rain, so our village won't be washed away. Good. Bach. Ooh. Uh, the Sustans, they plant and harvest all the food. <laughs> yeah, and you eat it. <laughs> Bob Eggs, what do the imports do? Nothing. That's why they're called import ants. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. These are serious matters. Now, I'll go over this one more time. Every grant has got a name, and no two grants are called the same. Some are large, and others small, but every grant serves us all. There are radies who save the rays of the sun, and hydras who train the water to run. The sustains harvest and cook all our food. The imports intrude without being rude. Every grant has got a name, and no two grants are called the same. Some are large, and others small. But every grant serves us all. The eight ends watch over us from birth. The constructs build homes above the earth. The enforce keep vanter vipers away. The transies move things around all day. Serves will bring us a vast array while maintenance repair what is in decay. The informs can tell us what is on the scene and the consuls advise our stately queen. Ooh. Every grant has got a name and no two grants are called the same. Some are large. And others small, but every grant serves us all. I hope you were all taking notes. I don't think I could do that a second time. Just a moment. Where is Shando? Uh, Shando? Oh, Shando, Shando. 
The very same. Golly, he is absent, isn't he? Gosh, Teeter, I I'm sure he has a good excuse. Excuses are all he ever has. This time, he'll have to suffer the consequences. But, but, Teeter... Class dismissed. All right, you gits. Now get. Poor Shando. I sure wouldn't want to be in his pottles. Yeah, old Teeter is really steamed this time. Let's face it. When it comes to getting someone steamed, no one can do it quite like Shando. I'm worried about Shando. He's usually in some sort of mischief, but he's never missed a whole class before. Perhaps the glossy frost can show me where he is. Aha, there he is now. But why is he with that little inf? Gosh, Shando, if I don't pass my body parts test, I'll be stuck in kindergarten the rest of my life. I want to be a big git like you. Don't worry, Koosh. I'll help you study for it. Ah, that's just like Shando. Helping others when it is he who needs help most. Okay, it's easy. Watch. The pro, the tunk, the nunk, the habbers, the mid-bump, the main bump, the pods, and the pods. Got it? Nope. It's no use, Shando. I just don't have a tongue for these things. Don't give up, Koosh. You can do it. Now watch. I'll run through it again. Nungs and bumps and pros and pods. Time to know your little gallivant bod. Half to the left, half to the right. Majors, minors, oh, hold on tight. Take a major half, put it on your tongue. Place a minor half right upon your nunk. Wiggle each pose just a little bit. Stand upon a single pot until it's time to quit. Hey, get a look at this pod. Don't let kind of strike you as odd. Every time I look at the shape, I roll around the ground and I shake, 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 shake. Nunks and bumps and pros and pops. It's time to know. Reach around a friend, find another haver, do it once again. Double hug your body, do it with a grin. Say hi to new bod and do it once again. Pick up your mid bump, give a little thump, or rub it on your main bump. Jump, jump, jump. Pen your pros forward, bend your pros right back. Wave your hats into the air and bang them with a smack. Bang them with a, 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 bang them with a smack. Hey, get a look at this bar. I don't it kind of struck you as odd. Every time I look at the shape, I roll around the ground and I shake, 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 shake. Your little gallivant bod. My little gallivant bod. Our little, little gallivant bod. Candle. Teetor. <laughs> he fell on his kabump. Oh, I'm sorry, Teeter. I didn't mean to... Shando, why must it always be you? Well, I was just giving Koosh a lesson in Gall of Anatomy. You're not the only one who can teach. Gall of Anatomy, eh? Just go before my right pod meets your main bump. Yes, Teeter. Uh, come on, Koosh. I'll take you back to the natal nook. Really, Teetor, all that racket you've been making is keeping the little imps awake. It wasn't I, Nessa. As usual, the one to blame is Shando. That git certainly has a knack for finding trouble. It's a pity, too. He has a clever brain and a generous core, but all his good intentions seem to cause nothing but problems. Reminds me of a young git I once knew. Who was that? You. Nessa, we're not discussing me. We're discussing Shando. Shando, Titor? What's the difference? You're alike as two berries on a branch. Yeah. What nonsense. Do you really think so? I know so. Thank you.
Okay, the race is about to begin. It's E.G. and Shando against Babags and Kubo. Do you really think we can beat them, Shando? Are you kidding, E.G.? It's as easy as acorn stew. All right. Now, may the best team win. Swimmers on your pods, get set, go! Bag. She's gaining on you. Way to go, E.G. Pour it on. Keep it up, E.G. You're way ahead. Okay, Shando. Now it's your turn. Shando, what are you doing? The backstroke. Catch up. He's drowning. I've got to save him. blew the relay race. Big deal. It was a stupid race anyway. As your highness can see, we have in store for the winter only 12 gallivats of acorn stew, 5 gallivats of mushroom mush, and seven gallivats of peapot porridge. Thank you, Antonym. I know I can always count on you for cold, hard facts. And now, on to another problem. That of Titor the Major Mentor's conduct. Well, enough of serious matters. <laughs> I wish now to be amused. Where is my jester antic? I'll be there in just a minute, Your Highness. Get it? Just a minute. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> oh, delightful antic. Extremely amusing. <laughs> Thank you, your queenliness. <laughs> now look what you've done, you clumsy fool. You know me, anything for a laugh. Enough frivolity. As your majesty's chief consult, I urge you to discuss the matter of Titor the Major Mentor. Oh, if you insist, Antonym. Now, what seems to be the problem? He is far too lenient with the student gits. He allows them to bend all the gallivant rules. No, no, is that so serious? Extremely so. Without rules, the citizens of Ganderville would lead carefree, pleasure-filled lives of all play and no work. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of place. Your Highness, I strongly urge that Titor be replaced by someone stricter. Like yourself? If Your Highness insists. Thank you, Antonym. I'll give it my consideration. Now, I shall retire to my royal chamber. But, but you can't leave now, Queenie. I've got more jokes left. <laughs> I see you're all present. All except Shando, that is. We'll just have to proceed without him. As you know, tomorrow, Brenton's session begins. A time when each of you will be assigned to various grants. The first step in getting your kabumps. 
Well, Shando, late again, I see. I guess I overslept. I was up all night studying for granting. Ah, in that case, I'm sure you can tell us the duties of the various grants. Well, uh, I'll try. Very well, then. Who gathers and stores the rays of the sun? The sun. Let's see, that's, uh, uh... It's right on the tip of my nunk. Well? Uh, now I remember. It's... it's the hydrus. Or is it the sustens? No, wait. The sustens build our homes. Or else they're the advisors to the queen. Or maybe not. Poor Shando. It's just like the swimming race. He sunk. It's apparent you don't know your grants from a hole in the ground. Uh, big deal. Who needs to know that granting stuff anyway? I'll get Micah bumped my own way. Really? And what way is that? I can't tell you. It, it's a secret. Besides, you've always taught us that anything is possible. Shando, where are you taking me? You'll see. We're almost there. Is this the big secret you couldn't tell Titor about? That's right. And there it is. Kabumpers? Right. Come on, let's go in. But we can't. See the sign? No gifts allowed. No problem. I've got the solution right here. A whistleberry? How's that gonna help? Watch. See? Kabumps. Just like full-grown vanters. But, Shando, oh, this isn't right. You know what Teeter always says. Sometimes you have to bend the rules a little. And whatever you do, don't thump my kabump. My name's Shando, and I'd like to join you giggers. Yeah, we sure could use a fourth to blow pipes. Inside out. That's a great idea. Put a mute on it, Gokin. Yeah, Gokin. That was a rotten idea. You seem to forget I'm the leader of the giggers, and I make the decisions. Sure, Gally. Whatever you say. Yeah, Gally. Whatever you say. Well, I say we could use a fourth to blow pipes. Wow, she sure comes up with some inside-out ideas. That's why she's the leader. You really think you can handle this gig? Try me. So, what would you like to play? Padakas, Piccolute, the Florn? Hey, you name it, I'll play it. Okay, the Triple Fipple Pipe. The Triple Fipple Pipe? Nobody can play the Triple Fipple Pipe. I know. <laughs> Shando, let's leave. They're laughing at you. Don't worry, E.G. They'll soon be laughing out of the other side of their nunks. <laughs> this ought to be good. Yeah, real good. <laughs> Jump. Every venter in the village is just shaking each little kaboom. And if your majors and your minors are clapping to the beat of the chords, then let your party. 
let's go and your folks go. We're gonna venture into the moon. So clear your tongue, stand, get your pros up, and listen to the wail of the floor. Join every venter in the village, we're gallivanting into the moon. Gallivanting, shake, shake, shake. So, uh oh, you're no banter, you're just a little git. Please don't be angry, Galley. He just wanted an audition. Well, he got one. Gank, yeah, what's wrong? You having trouble with this git? I'll say. Dump him on his kabump. You want us to get shut down? Now take your fipple pipe and blow! E.G., I'm a total failure. No, you're not, Shando. At least you tried. Teeter always taught us that that's the most important thing. Hey, Git! You're, uh, pretty good. Really? You mean it? Come back when you've got a real kabump, and you can join the group. Did you hear that, E.G.? I'm gonna be a music ant! Not so fast, Shando. You have to get your kabump first. Easy as acorn stew. Trust me, E.G., it'll be a snap! Don't be so sure, my young friend. Life is full of surprises. At last, the time you gits have been waiting for has arrived. Today, you begin the granting process, which will help decide how each of you may best serve the village of Ganterville. And remember, whatever you're assigned to, put your nunks to the grindstone and give it your all. That is the true secret of success. I wonder which grants will be our first. I sure hope we can stay together. Here's where we find out. All right, Gits, these are your assignments. Here you go. There you are. Here's your card. And this is yours. There you go. Oh, wow! I'm with the Air Force! And I'm with the Constructs! I'm with the Servants! And I'll be with the Informs! I wonder how the food is. How about you, Shando? What are you? The Rays? That's what they think. I'm not spending my life collecting sunbeams. Shando, what are you doing? You heard what Teeter said. If you want something, you've got to want it with all your might. Well, I want to be a music ant, and that's that. That is the signal for the winding tree ceremony and the beginning of granting. When next we meet, it will be kabumping day. Now, get you gits.
look at all the different grants. All right, Gits. Knock off the chatter and join your grants. So long, gang. I'll miss you. See you on Kabumping Day. Even though we're separated, we'll still be together in friendship. It's one for all and all for one. Right. Together we can lick any problem. Right! Oh, it's so sad, Nessa. What is? Season after season, it's always the same. You guide the young gits through all their stages, teach them to have confidence in themselves, then suddenly, just like that, they're gone. I know. It's the same with all my little imps. Watching them grow up and leave. It's worse when you become attached to one special git. You mean Shando? Yes. I just hope I haven't taught him too much confidence. It could get a young vanter like him into a whole lot of trouble. Radies, 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 radies. Always easier than I thought. I don't need to know all that Brady stuff. I've got more important things to do than look for collectors and reflectors. You don't say. Like what? Uh, like practicing my fipple pipe. I'm one of the giggers. Oh, a music ant. Well, in that case, go right ahead. Thanks. I might dedicate my next number to you. Huh? Hold on. You're no gigger. You've got no kabump. Well, uh, I'll get one soon. I promise. Listen to old Azor. Give yourself a chance. <sighs> what do you mean? How do you know what you're best at if you don't try at all? I mean, that's what granting is all about. Hmm. I never thought about it that way. So... You think you've got what it takes to be a ready, do you? I sure do. Good. See these sun crystals gathering up sunlight? Well, when they've stored enough, we transport them to Lower Ganterville. What for? What for? To light up the place, of course. Oh, that's very enlightening. Meet me down below. These stones are heavy. There must be an easier way to transport them than this. Look what's there. A doozleberry leaf. That gives me a doozy of an idea. What do I know I never thought of this before? There. Now all I have to do is pull it. What took you so long? Well, you see, I had this brilliant idea for transporting the sun crystals. What's this? Oh, looks like your brilliant idea has lost its shine. Poor Shando. He has so much to learn. Perhaps he'll do better at something else. According to this report, uh, you were less than your best as a rady. Hope you do better as a hydra ant. No problem. Any imp can do it. Good attitude. Here, start watering these ditches. Okay, ready when you are. Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> well, how did I do? You're a lot better at irritating than irrigating. Uh, Shando could certainly use a jolt of confidence about now. There must be something he can succeed at. Well, Git, are you ready to be a construct? I'll try my hab at it. Uh, trying is okay, but doing is a whole lot better. Think you can wheel those boulders down to the construct site? <laughs> Are you kidding? It's as easy as acorn stew.
You're no construct. You're a destruct. Sorry about that. <sighs> Poor Shando. Perhaps I've put too much faith in his ability. What do you think, Glossy? This is the day we've been waiting for. Yeah, never thought we'd be taking in another music ant. I know what you mean, but Shando's a natural. And on the triple-fipple pipe, no less. I'll say. It wasn't this easy for us when we began. First, we had to convince the Grand Council to let us try. Then we had to find a place to play. Then came the really hard part, getting all the Vantas to like our music. Yeah, I hope Shando knows what he's getting into. Oh, uh, a music ant's life is not an easy one. It sure would make things easier if music ants had a grant. Inside out. Come on, let's get over to Kabumping and watch Shando get his. Announcing the arrival of Her Majesty, the Queen! <laughs> All hail Her Highness, Queen Manicab! Ta-da! <laughs> wow! Now that's what I call a great trip! <laughs> You clumsy buffoon. What are you doing? It's a, a, a tricks of the trade. I'm simply warming up the crowd for her queenliness. Greetings, future gallivants. Hey! To the queen, 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 queen. See, it worked. I'm proud to be with you on this happiest of all occasions, Kabumping Day. And now, let the ceremony begin. <laughs> I urge your majesty to reconsider the matter of Titor as major mentor. But why? He's much too lenient with the gits. He's filled their tongues with junk. Finally, the day has come that I have struggled to prepare you for. We count on your youth to bring fresh ideas and new energy to our village. Always remember that to be your best, you must try your best. And to believe with all your very core that anything is possible. Now, close your eyes, concentrate, and believe. It worked! Look at me, I've got my kabum. So do I. Me too. Poor uh -oh. kid. Look, What's wrong, no kabum. Where's your kabum? Uh, I don't know. There must be some mistake. You heard what Titor said. You have to concentrate. I'm concentrating. I'm concentrating. <coughs> go, Shando, go! You can do it, Shando. Squeeze! <sighs> it's no use. I can't do it. Why, well, sure you can. Here. Try blowing it out with this. I'll try. <gasps> it's no use, Shando. You're just not ready to join the Giggers. It's not hopeless, Shando. You can always try it again. Wait! Please, don't go! Catch you on the downbeat. Yeah, likewise. Oh, oh boy, that's pretty awesome. A kabumpless galligate. This has never happened before. I warn your highness, this is all the fault of Titor, the major mentor. His teachings have caused this. You may be right, Antonym. Perhaps he should be replaced. If your highness insists. Nunk up, old buddy. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, with or without a kabump, you're still okay with me. What are you gonna do now, Shando? I don't know. Well, whatever it is, You'll always have a friend in the end force. And the constructs. And the serves. And the informs. 
Goodbye, Shando. Goodbye, E.G. <sighs> I never should have listened to Teeter. He said anything is possible. What a bunch of beeswax! Did I hear my name mentioned? Titor. Yes, Shando. Anything is possible, but only through hard work. You thought you could do your granting without trying, and now you must pay for it. A kabump is earned, not given as a gift. You and your stupid advice! I'm through listening to you! Well, Titor, you've done it this time. Hmm. Here to gloat, Antonym? No. Merely to warn you. The Queen has decreed that if Shando doesn't get his kabump within two days, you are to be replaced as Major Mentor. Replaced? By whom? By me. Poor Titor. Poor Ganterville. Sure miss my old git gang. Guess I'll just have to get used to being alone from now on. Still awake, Koosh? Uh-huh. I can't fall asleep. I keep worrying about Shando. He's never gonna get his kabomp, is he? One never knows. In life, not all of us get our dream. And speaking of dreams, it's time you got started on yours. There's a land in your mind. It's a place that you'll find. If you leave your cares behind, close your eyes and dream away. Don't know when, don't know where. It's a from here full of good things you can share close your eyes and dream every star you see it shines for someone somebody just like me keep your destiny rests in your hands. What a heavy burden to place on one so young. Oh! 
Hey, what's the big idea? I'm trying to get some shut-eye. Sorry, Shando, but we've got a job to do. Kubo, is that you? Sure is. I'm a construct now, remember? We've got orders to enlarge the dorm for a brand new batch of gifts, so you'll have to move. Ooh, but this is the only home I know. Where will I live? Beats me, but you can't stay here. you turned out to be. Sorry, Shando. I'm only doing my job. Some of us do have our responsibilities. Forget it. Luckily, I still have some friends in this world. See ya. Yeah, Kubo. See ya. That's it. Drink up, my thirsty little friends. Ah, oh, now for a good day's sleep. <laughs> hey, cut it out! Shando, what are you doing in my garden? I was thrown out of the git dorm by my friend in the constructs. Some friend. I thought I'd hang out here for a while. Uh, just till I get my kabump, of course. Wrong, Shando. In life, you have to work for what you want. Struggle, sacrifice, dedication. That's the only way you can grow. Even the tiniest flower knows that. But, but Teeter, can't I just hang around? After all, anything is possible. Anything, not everything. And only if you really try to make it happen. I knew there was a catch to it. Shando. There's a catch to everything. Oh, Titor, I've been looking all over for you. What seems to be the problem, Fall? It's the Ova Sanctum. We're terribly overrun with eggs. More than Ness and I can handle. Hmm. Shando, what a splendid opportunity for you to be useful while waiting for your kabump. Me? An egg sitter? Forget it. You know, Shando, Sometimes you must go back to the beginning in order to gain your end. Hmm, I see. Maybe you're right. Okay, you got yourself an exeter. Oh, come along, Shando. You won't be sorry. No, but the eggs might be. So this is the Galagleam Gallery. I've never been down here before. Of course you have. This is where you were born. Just like every other banter. Here's where you were exposed to the rays of the Gala Gleam. What does that do? It gives us that little extra something that makes us so special. Special? Yes, it makes us gallivant. Come on, Fall, let's go! Help! Help! Help me out, I'm stuck! Next week, I definitely start my diet. Oh, dear, we must do something. No problem, leave it to me. Shando, it's you. Tita told me you could be a pain in the tunk. Shando has offered to help us tend the eggs. Splendid. We certainly could use an extra set of abs. Shando, it's your responsibility to transfer these eggs to this bin. Sounds easy enough. Be careful not to lose a single one. Life is too precious a gift. This should be as easy as acorn stew. Eggs in the pile, eggs in the bin, eggs in the middle. Gotta get in. 
I'm a lonely getter. Here where life begins. I'm stuck in the middle. Gotta get in. Eggs in the pile. Eggs in the bin. Eggs in the middle. Gotta get in. Eggs for the village. Eggs for the grants. Eggs getting ready to be gallivants. Eggs in the pile. Eggs in the bin. Eggs in the middle. Almost in. I'm full of rhythm. The eggs are too. Work is really easy if the beat's in you. Set your pods a tapping and the job gets done. When your halves are clapping, everything is fun. Slap into the rhythm. That's all. There. All done. And I didn't lose a single one. Oh, no. Ugh. No, wait. Come back. Oh, no. I'm in trouble now. What could that be? <laughs> Shando! Oh, why must it always be you? I'm sorry, E.G. I couldn't help it. I'm in a big hurry. Here, let me lend you a hab. <sighs> Chasing after something? What makes you say that? Because I just saw an egg roll by here. You did? Shando, are you in some kind of trouble? Yeah. I'll explain it to you later. Shando, how do you get yourself into these fixes? Just a gift, I guess. Faster, E.G. It's getting away. I'm running as fast as my pods will carry me. Why are you stopping? Uh, I give up, E.G. I'll never find that egg now. But you've got to. Where do I begin? Look at all those tunnels. You'll just have to try each one. Uh, it's no use. I'm going back and play my fipple pipe. That's the one thing I can do. It won't get me in trouble. You can't give up, Shando. Not now. Yeah? Watch me. If you turn and walk away Right down a path that leads astray I'll follow I'll always follow I'll be there when right or wrong You finally find where you belong And but Will it all ever end? Do you think all your life is a game Without any pain, my friend? I could holler. I'm talking to you. Don't you care what happens to you down here? I don't know why I've been so totally blind. But Shando, don't go. I know it's You're right. One little egg means more than any kabump, even mine. Oh, Shando. Oh, I knew you'd see the light. Come on, I'll help you look for it. After all, two tongues are better than one. No way, E.G. It's my responsibility. I lost it, and I'll find it. You've got a point there. Now, if I only had a kabump, If 
I were an egg, where would I hide? Huh? What in the Galagleam is that? It's coming from that hole up there. Look. Help! Oh, that light's so bright. It's blinding me. Huh? My eyesight's gone. I can't see. I'm completely blind! I'm lost. No hope. No light to show the way. No sun. Only memories of a brighter day. Could I be the one who always had the fun doing what I dare. I never had a care. And now I understand what I could have been more than all my dreams could ever hope for. I'll find my way from the night into the morning. No my friends or Titor. <laughs> Tears. <coughs> they washed away my blindness. I can see. I can see. I can see. Great galloping galagleams. Do I see what I think I see? It's the right size. It's the right shape. It's the right color. It's my kabump. It must have popped out when I fell, and then dropped off. Hey, it's me, Shando. Don't you know me? Hey, come on, what's with you? I've been waiting for you for Antons. Don't play hard to get. Aha, got you. Now to put you where you belong. Hey, come back, stop! Okay, I give up. You win. <laughs> Maybe I was just never meant to have a kabump. I guess this just isn't going to be my day. First I lose an egg. The egg. Oh no, where's the egg? <laughs> I don't believe it. Just when I give up hope, it happens again. Teeter was right. Anything is possible. All right. Anything, not everything. Well, 
no use hoping for two impossibles in one day. Guess I'd better get this egg back before Nessa finds it missing. Oh, which is the right tunnel to take? Oh, well, what's the difference? Hey, you coming along or not? Well, suit yourself. So, you decided to tag along. Hey, cut that out. Wait up. What's your hurry? Hey, slow down. Where are you going to? Come on, wait for us, will you? Honestly, I don't understand why you're in such a hurry. What's the matter, getting tired? Hmm, seems to be all shook up to me. Great acorns! Who are you? I'm a Vanter Viper. Eagle's the name. Eating's my game. <laughs> Who's hungry? I am. In fact, I'm starved. <gasps> Another Vanter Viper. You are singularly mistaken. We're the same Vanta Viper. <laughs> yeah, and me and Vice would love to have you and your friends for dinner. Appetizer. Main course. And dessert. Uh. <laughs> 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 hmm, the glossy frost. It's trying to tell me something. What is it, Glossy? Is is it about Chando? It is. And he's trapped by a Venter Viper. So that's why Chando's been missing. He's been vipered. I must try to rescue him. Quickly, Glossy. In which tunnel does the Venter Viper have him? Uh, never mind. I'll just have to find him myself. So, where are you taking that succulent-looking egg? Never mind the egg. What about that scrumptious little thing down there? Quiet, Feiss. I'll ask the questions. I'm the head today. Ah, you're always the head, Edel. When's it my turn to be the head? How many times must I tell you? You can't be a head without brains. I can think all by myself and do things on my own. But every time I look behind... I wish I was alone. I heard it said by those well-read that two is better than one. But I will cry till the day I die. Two heads ain't better than one. Oh, two heads ain't better than one. Two heads? Who the heck needs them? Two heads? How can you beat them? Two heads, day after day, it's driving me crazy in every way. Two heads? Who the heck needs them? Two heads? How can you beat them? Two heads, day after day, it's driving me crazy in every way. Well, fellas, uh, I, uh, I think uh, it's time I got going. Uh, to see you around. That's right. Around. And around. And around. And around. Vice, <laughs> 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 you dimwit. You're supposed to bite the egg, not me. The same goes for you, Edel. You make me so mad I could hiss. Look at him, my unwanted twin. All wound up like a top. Shouting, screaming, always steaming. Something make him stop. Oh, I suppose nobody knows. You're hardly any fun. All day you moan. All night you groan. Two heads ain't better than Day 
driving me crazy in every way. Two heads. Who the heck needs them? Two heads. Who's going to lead them? Two heads. Damn the day. It's driving me crazy in every way. I'm starving. Let's start with the egg. I say we begin with the dessert. Say, why does it move like that? Oh, that, uh, uh that, that's my kabump. Yeah, my kabump. Hey, kabump, g get back up here where you belong. Ah, there goes dessert. Then let's warm up with an appetizer. The egg. The egg? Yeah, give us that egg. Listen, uh, why settle for just one egg when I can lead you to bunches of them? Mm, did you hear that, Fife? Eggs by the bunches. Wait a second. Eggs don't come in bunches. They come in batches. Uh, uh, okay, then uh, bunches of batches. That's better. Splendid. Tell us, where are these succulent spheres? In the Oversanctum. Follow me. The Oversanctum? Oh, joyous day. He's leading us to the Oversanctum. Wait. <coughs> What's wrong, Edel? I don't trust these Vantas. They're a sneaky lot. Oh, they're not. We are, too. Edel was right. I was trying to fool you. The Oversanctum is that way. Well... What are we waiting for? Let's go! Stop! <laughs> you silly simp! Can't you see he's lying? On the other hand, I might be telling the truth. Hoping you'll think I'm telling a lie. Huh? My brain is all mixed up. So what else is new? Now tell us, Vanta, which way is the Yova Sanctum? You want the truth or a lie? The a truth. lie. Okay. It's that way. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Can't you see he's lying? It's this way. No, it's this way. He's telling a lie. He's telling the truth. Oh, oh that's not fair. You tricked us. Hey, so I did. <laughs> I guess I'm good for something anyway. No. Uh, uh, Feist, this is all your fault. You're the head today, Edel. Remember? Oh. Hey, look at me. I'm the way I'm supposed to be. And now you see I'm as perfect as I can be. I've got to find Shando. He never came back with the egg. He might be in terrible trouble. There's all sorts of dangers lurking in these tunnels. thing I'm in the end force. Otherwise, I might really be for frightened. E.G.? Tidor! Oh, it was only you! What are you doing down here? I'm trying to find Shando. He's been captured by a Vanter Viper. Oh, so that's why he never came back with the egg. Quickly, E.G., you get the other end force ants while I continue to search for him. Yes, Tidor, right away. Shando! Where are you, Shando? Answer me! I've got to return the egg before I bump in any more bad news. <laughs> the egg! Have no fear! Antic is here! <laughs> Lucky for you! I can also juggle! <laughs> Ooh, I think I do this exceptionally well! <laughs> Get it? Exceptionally well? 
Oh, laugh it up. From here on, the jokes are all downhill. <laughs> <laughs> got it. <sighs> Not quite. I've got it. What are you doing with this egg? Egg? Uh, what egg? This egg. Oh, that egg. I, uh, rescued it from a Vanter Viper. Oh, really? You expect me to believe such rubbish? The Enforce assured me there are no Vanter Vipers down here. But I saw one, Antonym, with my very own eyes. It had two huge heads. One was red, the other blue, with beady little eyes and long, sharp snouts. <laughs> I see Titor has taught you well how to fabricate a lie, that is. But... but Antonym... Listen closely, Git. You did not see a Vanta Viper. It was just a figment of your imagination. Is that clear? Y yes, sir. What is that noise? Uh, nothing, really. Just a figment of my imagination. Here comes the figment, and there goes my pigment! Bye-bye! Antic, you can't come back here! <sighs> it appears I was mistaken. We are indeed in a serious predicament. Not if I can reach that vine! <sighs> I'm afraid it's impossible. <sighs> Dieter says anything is possible if you want it enough. Teacher. <laughs> All you have to do is concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Something strange is happening to my kabump. <laughs> Something very peculiar going on around here. Uh, Shando, oh, you're safe. I feared for your life. No problem, Titor. Everything's under control. Phew. Yes, you do seem to have matters well in hand. Don't you mean in Kabump? Shando, how wonderful. You do have a Kabump. Or something that looks like one. What are you getting at, Antonym? You'll find out when the time is right. This way, Enforce! Follow me! Look! It's the Vanter Viper! Quick! Grab it by its head! <sighs> ah. hey, I'm not the head! He is! The heck I am! You're the head! I so wish you'd make up your mind! That dry up! Quick, after them! I don't think you'll catch them. They've probably tunneled way back down by now. Shando? E.G. You came back! What uh, happened to the egg? It would appear Antonym has it. Hmm. <laughs> it would appear so, but it's actually Shando's doing. Thanks for lending a hab. I'm so glad you found it. I also found something else. Notice anything different? <gasps> you got your kabump! Oh, Shando, it's beautiful! And that's not all, Ichi. He also saved Ganterville from the Vanter Viper. You did? Oh, Shando, I'm so proud of you. No big deal. I just saw my duty, and I did it. Hey, Shando's a hero! <laughs> from the Vanter Viper! Hey, where are you taking me? To Queen Malakam's chambers for a royal hero's welcome! Well, Titor, Shando getting his kabump seems to have saved your tongue for now, but not for long. What are you saying? There's something strange about that kabump, and I intend to expose it. 
Oh, Antonym, you're always so suspicious. One does not become the Queen's consort by having a trusting nature. You don't have faith in anyone, do you? That's right, Titor. Especially soft-hearted old fools like you. What a bag of wind you are. How'd you ever get this far? Bending rules, helping fools, you are really such a pain. You are older than your time. I am sure you've passed your prime. Look at you, look at you. You hobble with a cane. Absolutely wild beyond a reason. Imagine me about to bend the rules. Will there ever be a season? Never! For me to join the ranks of other fools! I will never be like that. Doesn't fit a diplomat. In the end, my old friend, when you look around, you'll see... Little Shandu's still a threat. Don't believe it's over yet. Quit the game. It's no shame if you lose to me. In the game of life and death adventure, one thing is for certain, I will say. Every favor leads to one's indenture. And that is something I will never pay. Do you think our friendship is more important than my biz? When in doubt, look about, and you'll find that I'm the key. At the time of my design, I will bind your fate to mine. It will be, you will see, guarantee, rhapsody. But if I know denying when you lose to me. Some vanters never change their tune. Incredible news, Your Majesty! One of the venomous banter fighters has been vanquished, and Shando is the one who did it! Not only that, he also found the missing egg! Shando, I am proud of you, and all Ganterville shall know of your bravery. Ah, oh, it was nothing, Your Majesty. Easy as acorns, too. You are too modest. Such bravery should be rewarded. I already was, Your Majesty. Look! Oh, how wonderful! You've got your kabump! Not quite, Your Majesty. And whatever are you saying? Heed my words. There's more to that kabump than meets the eye. Nonsense! I say it's a kabump. And I further decree that today shall be a special day for Shando. Name your fondest wish, and it shall be yours. I only have one wish, Queen Malikam. To blow Fipplepipe with the giggers at Kabumpers. Fipplepipe? Giggers? Kabumpers? He wants to join a musical group and play his instrument at our village club. Yes, I know, Antonym. I'm not totally naive. I hereby decree a royal galibration. Tonight at Kabumpers, Shando will perform for the citizens of Ganterville. Hey! Hey! Inform, spread the news. Yes, Your Majesty. And I, your queen, will personally attend. Hey! And now I shall retire to my chambers to prepare for tonight's festivities. As your highness wishes. I'll see you later, your travesty. Uh, majesty. <laughs> A Shando Galibration, indeed. Well, looks like things aren't going exactly your way today, eh? Mark my words. Tonight at Kabumpers, that young upstart will be unveiled as a total fraud. And then, I, Antonym, will replace Titor as major mentor of all Ganterville. Oh, my. You really are serious, aren't you? Antic, I never joke. Never? No, never. I am determined to maintain a certain balance in the village. And that old fool Titor must not be allowed to break. 
my cousin, Trayton! You're certainly a hard act to follow. Without a doubt, Antique. Without a doubt. Well, my young friend, how does it feel to be a famous hero? It feels great. Total strangers come up and want to shake my halves. Shando, you mustn't let this incident go to your tongue. It's nice when others appreciate you, but what truly matters is how you feel about yourself. To tell you the truth, Titor, I, I feel pretty good about me, thanks to you. Shando, it's nice that we can finally speak as equals. I mean, now that you have your very own kabump. My kabump? Oh, right, my kabump. Is there anything you'd care to tell me about it? T tell? About my kabump? Uh, can't we just drop the subject? Drop it? Why, certainly we can drop it. Oh, you knew all along, didn't you? It's hard to keep a secret from the glossy frost. Glossy Frost? Observe. Hey, that's Kabumpers! You can see things anywhere in the village, as they happen. That is the secret of the Glossy Frost. It's my window on the village. So that's how you knew about my Kabump. You were watching me. I've always been watching you. But if you knew all along, why didn't you help me? That would be breaking the Gallivant rules. In life, each of us must learn to stand on our own two pods. Why have you kept the Glossy Frost a secret from the rest of the village? I had to. Do you realize how dangerous this power could be if it fell into the wrong halves? I see what you mean. But what about my kabump? This ball? Where did it come from? Well, Shando... You just may have solved one of the oldest of all Gallivant legends. I did? Which one? Many Antons ago, there was an unusual Gallivant egg. It never quite fit in with the others in its batch. I know the feeling. As the attendants were counting the eggs in that batch, this one particular egg just up and rolled right out of the bin. What happened then? The A-10s chased it, but they never found it. Never? It has been lost for all these Antons until today. You mean my kabump is that lost egg? The very same. But, but why didn't it hatch? Because instead of rolling into a ray of light and then out again, like in the Galagleen Gallery, it just stayed in the light until its shell became as hard as crystal. And my falling on it freed what was inside. Precisely. But what is this thing, this... this ball? I don't know, Shando. One thing's for sure. I sure am glad I found it when I did. That reminds me. We'll have to do something about your little secret. You mean you're gonna actually let me wear it? What are we that can be? Two friends joined in harmony. Maybe this is what I always dreamed about. So did I. We are one, young and old. Bonded by the strongest hold. Don't you think that I have always wanted this? So have I. Winter may be just around the corner. Don't talk nonsense, Teeter. You're not getting older. Yes, I am. Ah, yes, I am. Well... We can't disappoint the entire community of Ganterville. You're an inspiration to them. Thanks, Teeter. Remember, Shando, be aware that it's not your kabump. 
A true kabump is always earned. You must never let a deception become your reality. Do you understand what I mean? No. I have always tried to understand you. Don't talk nonsense, Shando. You have followed me very well. Yes, I have. I guess I have. In the time that remains, we will be the best of friends, sharing all our life's great gifts and more for this is what I've been searching for <laughs> You sure are in a good mood today. And why not, Antic? I'm the only one who knows how Shando really became a hero. And it wasn't something he did. It wasn't? No. It was his kabum. And I don't think it's real. Not real? No. It's just a trick created by Titor to save his position as Major Mentor. But his plan will fail. Young Shando will never be able to fool the whole village all night long, especially the Queen. And then I will become Major Mentor. Antonym, I have come to a decision. It's about tonight's celebration. I have decided not to attend. D not? Attend? But why? Such festivities are for my subjects. I feel I would inhibit their enjoyment. On the contrary, Your Highness. Your presence would lend dignity and stature to the occasion. Hmm. Perhaps you're right, Antonym. All right, then. I... I shall attend. You will not regret it. But Titor might. Titor? Antonym said tonight he'll put an end to Titor. You said what? I said tonight I'll be a friend to Titor. Oh, that's nice. must be awfully proud of Shando. I certainly am, Nessa. He's come a long way from the git I once knew. Let's see. That's two flax seed floats, one peapod punch, and one blueberry bubble. Well, that takes care of my order. Hey, Bags, where's my flaxseed float? What about my peapod punch? Hey, don't rush me. I've only got four halves. All hail Her Majesty the Queen! Hit it, Gokin. Banters, may I have your attention? Gokin. Yeah, I know. Stuff a mute on it. Tonight marks a special occasion here at Kabumpers. The musical debut of an honest to gooseberry hero. Let's have a great big hab for the newest member of the Giggers, Shando!
Shando, Shando, Shando. Uh-oh. Looks like Shando's in trouble again. Poor Shando. This is it, Antic. The moment I've been waiting for. Shando, I am extremely disappointed in you. I'm sorry, Your Highness. You never mentioned that your kabump was so... so very, very... Gifted. Well, you see, I, uh, that is, I mean... Now, now, this is no time for modesty. Only a very special gallivant would have such a very special kabump. Thank you, Your Majesty. For your bravery against the Vanter Viper, I hereby proclaim you a first-level gallivant. Is there anything you wish to say? There is, Your Highness. Everything I am, I owe to our major mentor, Titor. I couldn't have done it without his wisdom or friendship. Three cheers for Titor! Hey! Is it uh, now when you're going to show up, Shando? When the Queen says it is a real kabump, then I say it's a real kabump. But I thought you said it was... I said it's a real kabump. <laughs> well, what do I know? I'm just a fool. But not the only one. Okay, giggers, let's gig! <laughs> I can't stop, my pods are going jittery jump. Every banter in the village is just a shaking each little kabump. And if your majors and your minors are a clapping to the beat of the chords, then let your pods go and your boats go. We're gallivanting into the morn. Gallivanting, shake, shake, shake. So clear your tongues out, get your pros up, and listen to the wail of the floor and join every banter in the village. We're gallivanting into the morn. Gallivanting, shake, shake, shake. Gallivanting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gallivanting, give me a four. Gallivanting, give me some more.
sure looking forward to getting a full day's rest tomorrow. Not so fast, little Vanter. We weren't that great tonight. We weren't? Uh-uh. So I'm calling a rehearsal session for first thing tomorrow morning. A musicant's life is not an easy one. See you bright and early, Shando. Yeah, bright and early. Come on, Giggers, let's go. Shando, it was really inside out. Yeah, Shando, catch you on the downbeat. Well, it's been quite a day and night. It sure has. Oh, Shando, we're all so proud of you. Yeah, Shando's a genuine, honest-to-gooseberry natural hero. What a story. Well, I always knew he had it in him. It just took a little honest self-confidence to bring it out. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, I'm kind of tired. Hey, Teeter, how about uh, if I stay with you tonight? Well, it would be my honor. See you around, gang. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, see you around. Is something troubling you, my young friend? This should be the happiest day of your life. I know it should, but it isn't. In fact, I'm miserable. Miserable? But why? It's this darn kabump. It's a fake. That makes me a fake, too. I'd rather be a real nobody than a fake somebody. Shando. I've been waiting for you to say those very words. You have? With all my core. Until now, you've been lying to yourself. You let yourself believe that you could go through life without a care, without really trying. I guess I did, didn't I? You must be honest with yourself, always. To be your best, you must try your best. Do you understand? I do. Good. Then you are ready to get the one thing you've been missing. My kabump? Your kabump. But what about this, Teeter? If it's alive, we just can't abandon it. Can we? I don't know, Shando. I don't have the answer to every question. I learn as I live, always seeking listening, learning. I thought you knew all there is to know. <laughs> I'll never live that long. No one ever has. Well, are you ready to kabump? I sure am. Good. Now, concentrate, concentrate, and believe. Where did it go? It just disappeared. I feel so strange. Like something is a part of me that wasn't there before. You're right. And there it is. My kabump! My very own kabump! I can't believe how good I feel. Oh, it's a wonderful feeling of honest self-confidence, Shando. Respect it, treat it well, and it will never let you down. You've made me very proud. Teeter, I think I'm going to like being me. I think I'm going to like you being you, too. Young and old, Old and young, climbing ladders rung by rung, and finding here in Ganterville that anything is possible.